How's it going guys? So I had a question on how I installed this plow on the John Deere. So I'm going to show you guys what exactly I did. It was actually fairly simple. Way easier than I thought it was going to be. Only took me maybe 30 minutes or so. But I'll show you. So underneath there was brackets for the mower deck itself, which are these on each side, these hangers. And they just have holes in them. And uh, the plow itself just had holes. It's just kind of like an L shape here. I'll show you, we have another plow right around the corner here. That's set up the exact same way. I don't know if the height is any different on this, but see it's set up just like that. This one's for the four wheeler. And just a rod goes through on this one, which I could do the same thing, but I just stuck a uh, little spacer between here because the outside of the frame of this is a little bit wider than the mower. So as you can see, I stuck a, a spacer between there. That's that little gold piece there, you see? And I just did that on both sides. And all the way raised up. It barely touches the front of the frame here. Right in there. Actually, the taillight doesn't touch at all. <laughs> I think it touches a little bit on that side because that's where the winch a uh, line is kind of favored, so it, it picks up that side a little bit higher. Not but much. Which actually is good that it does that because over here it clears this pulley. Right there. Yeah, so all I did to get this to work, I'll show you. The uh, golf cart has that bushing kit that I put on. I had some extra bushings wherever I put them. Right here. So I had some extra bushings. And all I did is cut one and half. And that was enough. Just one of these. Just cut it right in half. And I think I had trim a little bit off each one or grind it down. But yeah, that's all I used as a spacer. And then as far as being able to raise and lower it. I just ran to Harbor Freight, used a coupon and got a little Badland winch and used two self-tapping screws here. One there, one on the bottom. That's all it's holding it on. And this thing is very, very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I need to find a new grill for this thing because it's all chewed up. But yeah, I ran the power wires in there. They're kind of draped here. I make sure that they are um, off the engine. When I close it, I kind of pull the slack and put it right here next to the battery. But otherwise they go right up near the front here, past the intake and I'm on the hood there. Okay, I'm hook up to the battery cables and then it's wireless. So I just have a little wireless remote here that hangs down and actually works out perfect because the way it's hanging here this is extend down here and that's re return so this is down that's up that's what the plow does so I hit up here the plow goes up down goes down turn on you just hold this blue light turns on all there is to it. I hold it down and shuts it off. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Then this one you can pull this little lever here and kick this. Uh, you have five options of different degrees if you want to move it. And the good thing is that I kind of wanted is when I'm not using the plow, like in the summer, I can use the mower to winch whatever I want to winch. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Fairly simple install.
Well, hopefully that answered some of your questions. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.